Yo, what's up, people? What's up? Sorry we were late. We were making potatoes. So, yeah, now I... is the part of the stream where you tell me what you ate for dinner, or lunch, or wherever you are on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. I made twice baked potatoes uh, for dinner tonight, so we had that. I started eating, or we, I started cooking them at like 5 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Underestimated the time. <laughs> So sorry about that. Sorry we're a little bit late, but I had to. I was gonna make dinner for us. So, yeah, that was a sad potato. So we had potatoes for dinner. Yeah. So today we're doing a reaction videos. If you don't know, we're psychic mediums and we can talk to spirits. A lot of people like to ask us how we can see things through a video. So I'm gonna just let you guys know Very right now that us as psychic mediums you don't need to be in a physical like you need you don't need to be in the same place as a spirit in order to talk to oh. them it's kind of I've like uh, sorry <laughs> we disappeared for a split second it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> so we're just shh, don't worry about it anyways <laughs> so we can see things through videos it's most mediums should be able to do this if they say that they can't, they may not realize that they can. Um, so every medium is di different. Maybe they don't experience it in the same way. Maybe they do things more on a physical basis, but we do not need to be in the same physical location as a soul in order to communicate with said soul. It's kind of like we communicate through consciousness or radio frequencies. It's kind of like talking to someone on the phone. Yeah. You don't need to be physically in the same space. You just need to talk to them on the phone. So because we are a part of collective energy, we're all connected. So we have the ability to communicate with souls that are not in the same location. So we can talk to them and see them through said video. So it's kind of like we can see them in the video sometimes. It's similar to like seeing this like people yeah. in the video. Or we can have it triggered, see the people, and then immediately start talking to them about stuff. Or we can pick up psychic information about the location, and the location will tell us, this is my history. So I just want to give a little basis of, this is how we can talk to souls through videos. Yeah! So, we are going to be reacting to Overnight in an Extremely Haunted Hotel by, is it Garrett Watts? Garrett Watts, yeah! So a lot of people have been asking me for years to react to Garrett Watts. I have never seen any yeah. of his videos. I didn't know that he did ghost investigations. I don't know anything about him. So I I know him from the Shane Dawson days, and that's oh. all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I know Garrett. So I had no idea that he started doing like ghost investigations and everything. He's pretty funny. I actually, like, he's a good guy. I like him. Also, I should say, before we start doing this, YouTube may kick us off for copyright things. So if that happens and we just mysteriously fall, go away. That's what happened. And we'll be back in a few seconds to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I only say that because the last time we tried to do this with Sam and Colby and we got, we got copyrighted midstream and it just poof, gone. And everybody's like, what just happened? If that happens wait a few minutes and we'll be back live to tell you what happened yeah so if all of a sudden we just poof yeah that is why sometimes it just happens yeah so something might in the vid in the video might be copyrighted yeah so we haven't looked at any of this yet so we were thinking about skipping to when they actually go like start Walk going in. into the hotel because yeah. otherwise it's going to be like we're going to be alive for like hours because yeah. the video itself <laughs> is two hours so we're going to start like kind of like halfway through and that's yeah. where he walks into the like hotel that they're investigating I have no idea what even the hotel they're going to just yeah. this haunted hotel so if you guys want to see like the rest of like the video that leads up to it it is linked in the description so like I mean regardless you guys should go like their video because they're great it's awesome um, but yeah, so we're going to skip forward through it just because there's like an hour of stuff before the investigation. And I don't think we need to just sit and watch. Yeah. A an lot hour. of people are like, it's a lot of fluff. So skip yeah. to the investigation. So we were going to, I was going to skip to them like entering into the hotel. Yeah. He's awesome. But clearly, uh, I know people are saying that he's 
like he's newer to investigations and that's fine We're, we don't judge like anything like that so we'll jump to them like getting to the hotel are you yep. ready i'm ready are you guys ready let us know what you guys see in chat while we are reacting as well yeah this is so. yeah if you want to like strengthen your gifts and like abilities as like a psychic medium because again we think everyone's psychic medium um this is a great way to do it this is how i personally practiced for a while was watching other people's investigations and trying to pick up on what i felt or what i saw and it's just like a good like fun lighthearted way to practice so you guys can r tell us what you see with us because that's what makes it fun you ready there's people saying the actual investigation isn't until 20 minutes before the end. Oh. Well, we can still pick up on other stuff that is yeah, happening. Yeah, I would just start where they enter the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. Let us know audio if it's good. You should put captions on. Normally I have them automatically on. Yeah? You can see me all right? Ready? Can we turn it up a little? Oh, dude, I already saw it open. I hated it. Let me know if that's better. I like his 7-Eleven necklace. That's hilarious. I need that. Jesus. Jesus! Dude, that was very... Yeah. Hold on. I thought I was doing it so soft. Whoa. All right, let's just get inside. Let's get in there. Clean this. Oh! What? Spider web. Ooh. Probably oh. move oh. us so they can actually oh. read the oh. captions. Dude, I can't even you know. see it. Hold on. Let me... Jesus. Wait. Don't walk from the inside. Definitely. Dude, that makes me feel so much more safe. Well, that doesn't, though. Can you... What oh, darkness? It's yeah, it's just dark. Oh, uh, the stairs. Hold on. I gotta... The stairs. Gotta... <laughs> Do I look weird? <laughs> I just look scared. <laughs> no, I'm not even scared one bit. First of all, should we talk about how A, very cold it is, and B, how dead silent it is for some reason? Dead Dude, it's silent? Weird. It's really weird. There's a man behind them. <laughs> weird response. <laughs> Sorry. You no, know, it's overwhelming, man. Behind you, it's wild. Okay, just let me fetch a flashlight. I told you guys we learned earlier. I wasn't ready to reveal my spooky box, so don't. But you're just gonna drag out the reveal to the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what? were you trying to sneak a peek? I told you I wasn't emotionally prepared for it. You got a very weird relationship with this. Box. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I don't know. So oh, two things I think. People up there. Oh God. Dude, are we legitimately looking at... Um, there's a man at the top of the stairs just, like, waiting for them. And not that's not, a, like, a scary thing. Um, he's, like, in a suit. Mm -hmm. He's, like, waiting to take their bags or something. As is, a soul, but... Is he, like, a little bit older, like... He's, like, balding. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. like, he's, like, a little, like, gray. He's, like, grayish hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the same guy. Yeah, he's very proper, like... In a very fancy suit, waiting for them to come upstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a bellhop. Yeah. Also, sorry, I'm thinking of... I had, like, so many thoughts while everything was happening, but everything <laughs> is going so fast. Um, the, like, weirdest thing when you, like, actually go to investigations is how quiet the places actually are. Really? At least to me. Because, like, we go into so many old buildings that I expect it to, like, sound more, like, creaky and, like... Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. You expect it there to be, like, like some noise. Noises. Yeah, like, creaky noises. Well, not necessarily anything paranormal. You haven't been to Fairfield while it's in, like, a fucking windstorm. True. Everything makes noise and you're just like... <laughs> this is terrifying! I don't know, like... Um... I don't know, there's been so many times where when we, like, go to locations, it's just, like, silent. And it always just, I don't know, mm -hmm. it's always just weird. And also, every single location has so many fucking stairs. I hate it. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, there's some places that have, like, like four floors, but... I mean, like, 
I don't know, when we went to, like, Indiana, like, there was just, like, so much walking and, like, the psychiatric hospital. Well, it's like, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge, but then, like, there's so many, like, ups and downs. Yeah, well, that place is just absolutely massive. Twin City was the worst with the stairs, mostly just because I walked up, like, the balcony stairs that are so steep, like, 15 times that night. Anyways, that's my rant about the stairs at locations. We should remove them. Do you run up the stairs on all fours like somebody behind you? God. I should do that. Mm-hmm. Stuff that's, like, from the 1800s right now. We haven't even seen anything. Where's <laughs> the front door? Oh, God, how do I get this up a hundred million stairs? Not that. It's Spooky so box weird. sucks. No, it doesn't. It's my favorite thing in the world. You've just been, you've been talking about how inconvenient it is okay. this whole time. I'll just give it a good bear hug and bring it up. Let me just... Oh, shoot. Oh, my God, I'm going to hurt my back. What if I wait, get wait, a bag wait, wait, like wait, that? Why don't you just leave it down here? What is you want to leave it there? Down? He just, I don't know. <laughs> he just keeps saying it's full of spooky I mean, stuff. <laughs> no, I look cool. No, dude, you know what? No, actually, to show people how seriously I take my ghost hunting, I'm going to carry this like a professional. Okay, but you are. I'm going to lift Whoa. Whoa. Ew. What, did, did you, you hear, hear that echo? No, Andrew, you hear stuff in there I don't hear. We've covered this. <laughs> I'm only going up. Halfway. Halfway. And then, and then, and then, to, to, and then we'll check in with each other and see where we're at. Well, no, and then you go first after that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the guy at the top of the stairs is just, like, just waiting. Yeah, he thinks that they're <laughs> funny. Yeah. I don't know. I do like Garrett a lot. He's funny. Yikes. What the hell? <gasps> Ooh, Age of Exploration. You don't know what that is. Whoa. True. Wait, this is bigger than I thought. That was a really small. I have no idea. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. Did you just break the stair? No. Dude, oh, Andrew. This is nuts. Oh shit. Why don't you take it out of the thing at least? The spooky box? Yeah, it just looks like a piece of luggage. No, but dude, the thing is though, it's so quiet in here that anything, anything. we are gonna hear it perfectly. You could not, if you literally dropped a pin in here, you could hear it. So what are you gonna do? I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a look around as well. Who, sorry, I thought I just looked like, ah! This is my shadow, it's just shadows, it was just shadows. Shall we see what's in this room? Sure. Oh! Damn it! What? I was trying to get a cool shot through the glass, but the glass is in focus, and you're not oh, cool. It's still a cool shot. It is a cool shot. <laughs> you need to do cool shots like that. It kind of does. All right. I try. It's a curio display. Oh. A curio display. I love it. A curio display. Oh. What if I find silverware? Oh, what is this video? <laughs> Are you looking for clues to a mystery that doesn't exist? Wait. What happened to door 12? Who took that off the tutors? Probably Austin. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me, uh, sorry, hold on, I'm gonna cut real quick. Does anyone know what hotel this is? Yeah, I'm unsure. Like, I was like, I don't know. That's what. Do I, Yeah, I don't know. Did the light go off? Yep. Ooh, I hate when that happens. I'm gonna turn it off. Um, was this like like a bed, bed like a bed and breakfast or something? I don't know why they keep showing me um God, what is that one motel thing on Netflix where all of the like weird murder things happen? Bates motel? Yeah, that's what they keep flashing. <laughs> I'm like what 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 about that? Are we talking about? Are we talking about weird things going on or are we talking about it being like a cozy bed and breakfast type thing? So, yeah, I feel like it's that, but I don't know. If Catherine says I don't think anyone has investigated it before. Got you. There's no research done. Cozy bed and breakfast. 
It was built in the 1800s. Okay. Yeah, because they, like, make me hear, like, old-timely music, like, the music that you would have in, like, silent movies, almost, Mm -hmm. where the movie looks kind of, like, sepia-ed. Mm-hmm. Because they make me feel like the hotel or bed and breakfast thing is from that era, and I feel like people would just, like, stay here when they're, like, walk, like, going through the city in sort of a, like, cozy bed and breakfast sort of aspect, not in a, like, bigger scale of a hotel. Yeah. It was more like mom and pop. Yeah, they said that it's above, like, a shop. Got you. So, yeah, it's, like, oh, it's an unmarked hotel over two businesses. So that would make sense that it's, like, a smaller, like, bed and breakfast type thing in the town. Yeah. It's not, like, a big thing. Yeah, because I feel like this man owned it. Mm Mm-hmm. And I don't know if his wife would, like, make, like, muffins or something. Something, like, sugary. Something sweet. I can smell her making it. And she has, like, blonde hair or something. It's like a type of, like, pastry. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, something in the morning and the whole, like, building would smell like it. Mm Mm-hmm. But she's, like, blonde... A tall, skinny man with dark hair. Is that... You're talking about that for the owner guy? Because that's what I see for him. Mm -hmm. Paris said buttery. Yeah, it's like a buttery, like, scone type thing. Yeah, they, like, show me just the top of it, and the top of it has, like, sugar. It's, like, sugar-coated on the Mm -hmm. top, so it's, like, crispier on the top than the rest of it. So whatever that is, baking is not my thing, cooking is not my thing, (laughs) getting taste and smell sensory is not my thing. (laughs) Igor says there's a candy shop below it now. Which I think is also funny. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know if that's what I'm getting so far from the, like, location itself. And this, like, butler man is telling me about it. But he's not the one that owns the place, because I asked him. I don't feel like there's anything, like, dark or scary. I don't even feel like it's necessarily that crazy active. I feel like there's, like, a few souls here, but otherwise it's fairly quiet. Well, I don't know. Usually places like this are more active just because they're, like, running. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. There's more energy for shit to happen. Yeah. And I don't know if that is a thing or not, but based on the locations that we go to, if some place is, like, more well taken care of, a lot of times it's more active. Mm Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. So... Yeah. But I don't think there's a lot of, like, people that stayed here. It was kind of like you were here and then you left. Yeah, because, so. I don't know, like, hotels typically have, like, they're a lot more, like, active because of the amount of people mm-hmm. that come and go through them. And there's a lot but of, this like, is events like, and stuff, like, forums. Yeah, but I don't feel like that yeah. happened. It wasn't to, like, that same scale, so it's mm-hmm. less active than, like, a hotel hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Do. Did the light go off? Do. Did the light go off? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was very clear. I, uh, is this think? building like, was this building abandoned? Because I feel like it might have been abandoned. I think so. Because the. I don't know though. The man attached to that voice is not from the 1800s. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was abandoned and people like squatted or something in here. I'm not entirely sure about that. Yeah. I don't or know. like, I don't know. There's someone talking to me that looks like he isn't like well to do, and he looks more modern. Yeah. I don't know. I want to like hear that again. It's fine. Do. Did the light go off? Yeah. Ooh, I yeah, that. I don't know, I that's very clear. Sorry, hold on, I'm gonna cut real quick. Do! Did the light go off? Do! Did the light go off? 
Yeah, it's coming from a man. They mm-hmm. have like shaggy hair, it's brown. Yeah, a lot more recent than like the butler dude. And the other people. Why is he's um not as prim and proper. He gives me like shady vibes. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't like them being in here. For whatever reason, he feels like they're intruding. So, yeah. Is it- <laughs> Why is there a disco ball? I think Austin was keeping some kind of secrets, secrets from us. Because I don't think disco balls were around in like the 30s. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? What? That was my foot. But wouldn't that be funny if you said egg, excuse me, like an egg? All right, so when are you going to start your investigation? All right, I have to say this one a little bit more. And then we can officially start the investigation, all right? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay, I just want to run. I want to look around a little bit more. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to make it spooky. Shut up out there. Oh, my God. Uh, Andrew, you see that ice on the windows? That's Jesus. It. Yeah, that lets you know how we're feeling right now in here. <laughs> Let's go around the Abandoned buildings. 33. Wait, but there's not 33 rooms in here. They're not 33 rooms. In here. I hope there's not. Well, actually, I hope there is. It's pretty crazy to actually think this place was a hotel. Oh, boy. <laughs> They're bag full. I feel like we should leave. Wait. Wait. I want to come in here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. I saw your face. Oh. You, wait. Wait. Are you? Are you? What? Are you serious right now? My heartbeat. No, no, no. What? I'm losing my mind. No, no, no. Do you know what just happened? No. But what just happened to your face? What? What do you mean? Why is your face covered in like black dust or whatever the? F- is it? Yeah. And I'm already scared enough. Wait. Did someone touch me? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. I'm like working through issues right now. Wait. What do you mean my face is covered in black dust? Are you serious? Wait. Was it two seconds ago? Look at your hair. Flip the camera around. Look at turn. Look turn the. Oh, other what side. happened? Dude, did you get fucking marked, bro? Oh, you get marked. He didn't get marked. I just, it's funny, but it's. I don't know. I've places like this are filthy. Mm-hmm. The amount of times we get like dirt and shit all over us, it's a lot. It's a good time. Yeah. Do you think anything pushed the bag over? No. I don't either. I was just <laughs> you wondering. Just fell over. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. feel like it's just heavy. Yeah, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it could stand up by itself. Listen, I'm going to bring, like, my big container full of equipment. At some and then point. we it just always filming and it falls over. Mm-hmm. And then we can have a compilation of it falling over. Just... Yeah, and then that meme sound, mm-hmm. what is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, Andrew, why are we talking about the thing that just happened? One of the wheels is missing, too. Dude, that was insane. Like I said, I also okay. just like that he's, like, monitoring his heart rate. <laughs> that was very steady and heavy. Of course my watch isn't working. It always gives me that in, like, two seconds. Wait, the spooky box got knocked oh, over? 115. No reason to be that right now. Oh my God. <laughs> that was nuts. What do we do? I don't want to be here. Was that like a get out thing? Wait, where were you? I thought you kind of like, I thought, wait, did you not go over Andrew, there? Andrew, I was- Wait, no, did you not knock it over yourself? It was a cat. Andrew. What? I was No right notes. Here. Just a cat. When you did that, I was cat. right here. Just because that's not where you were right you there. Know? Yeah, what were you? You were like over there. Andrew. I thought you were like over there getting it. No, they no, just no. started. What were you filming when I was, when that happened? What were you filming? It's pretty crazy to actually think this place was a hotel. Oh boy! There's always a cat. Did someone Mm -hmm. do that? I thought you were just grabbing it and you knocked it over. No, no, no. That's why I ran into that room for safety. I should start putting, like, no, no, you scared me a heartbeat you, like, monitor on my watch. No, you didn't even know where location no. so I can well, no, I pay mean, attention to it. Yeah, yeah, we don't get scared, and then though. I saw your face. Yeah, I really don't. You Never. We're marked by a... <laughs> I did get bro? start getting spooked <laughs> in the devil's toy box. Why is your face is covered in dirt? Did someone touch my face? Jesus. Because if you did, like, I'll take what I can get. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll take what I can get. <laughs>
Dude, when I sat what? down, it was sturdy. So you're saying you weren't over there? You were. I thought you were. I thought you said we're gonna start the investigation. You walked over to get the spooky box, and then you knocked it over. Possible. Promise on. Is this true? Yes. I see this old lady that has the cat. <laughs> um. Is this true? No. Okay, I don't know why she's in this place, but she just keeps showing me like you know those stores that have cats in them. I feel like this cat is like like lived there. Mm. And like walked around. No, that makes sense. And there was an old lady telling me that. I don't see the cat or the old lady, but I feel like it makes sense. She's from she's not from the like later time. She's like not when it first opened, but a few like a few yeah. years after that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who she is though. So I don't know if she just like stayed there longer and had a cat, but it's her cat. You're welcome. Me <laughs> too. On my, I wasn't. I wasn't looking at you. Promise on my life and everyone I know that I did not walk further than that piece of paper right there. That makes me feel more. Oh my god, that chief clerk obviously killed Rodin. Because when that happened, I thought we yeah, were I don't know. on the same page there. That's why, I, like, went in the room. Like, dude, should we go? Maybe if it exists in the footage, we can show how it was before. I don't know if it does. Why don't you take it out of the thing at least? The spooky box? Yeah, it just looks like a piece of luggage. <laughs> if the place doesn't have a cat haunting it, I don't want to go. Like <laughs> just like that, right here. Oh. Right here, like that, okay? Because it's, is it broken? The wheels are a little janky, but let's test it, okay? So if it was like that. Jesus. So with more force than I'm giving it right now, something would have just, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Maybe it was just something shifted slowly, all right? That's fine. Someone walks around the corner eating a sandwich. I tipped that over. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't know whose it was. Wait, where should I set up? I'm, I'm gonna find a room to set up in that's cute. Maybe in the room with the disco ball for like kind of a no scare room. What do you think is good a room is, Andrew? Disco ball room. Has to be. Dude, this is. I'm just gonna look around the corner. I'm curious to see. Lady in this room with the broken glass. Oh, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, what are you doing? Second of all, you hear that? A little pitter patter? Okay, why are you why are you messing with the chain? I always mess with the chain. If I see a chain hanging, I'm gonna play with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> okay. Real glass. So pitter patter oh with children. Well, I wanted to. I'm wearing gloves. Boy and girl. <laughs> you got those gloves at a gas no, station. No, I got them at a gas station, but they were $14.99. Gas stations can carry quality things. Oh, I'm just touching my it. God. I wanna stop. I will. Jeez. It's just because I want to. This place without light is so scary. Let's just, I want to have my back to this place and just see what we hear. Or anything. I just want to feel the lights off. Oh, my. Um, Kristen says I'm picking up there were some longer term residents here. I agree. I feel like that's what this woman with the cat is. I feel like she stayed there for a long time. And the cat was just kind of like a normal thing. Is there a guy with a t in a tuxedo watching him? Yeah, we feel like that's the butler. Yeah, like <laughs> like a, like a butler. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a bellhop butler, dude. He's like yeah. following him around. He's been there since they got there. Mm -hmm. Was Garrett an orange cat in his past life? First answer I got was no, but I can see the uh, the energy. reasoning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The girl feels more shy. Yeah, I feel like there's there's a boy and a girl, and they were, like, running through the place, like, playing tag. Because I could hear them laughing. So, yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? What? What the? Dude, what was that? What is that? That's why I'm being turned the light off. You want me to turn? Kill the light. I want my back to this place with the light on. No. <laughs> oh. He's your footsteps running up, Jim. He's like a golden retriever. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wasn't your. You had a focus, and it was really dark. So it was like, <laughs> That's not something I would be doing. Maybe with the right sound effect, it scared people. Dude, it was like a. Yeah, yeah. Like a bent, like a little. Yeah, yeah. Little... <laughs> okay, see how we go. <laughs> What the? F you, you, 
The hell was that? I can't. The hell was that thought? The hell was that big ass thought? I gotta go about George 12. George 12 is saying, oh, who put that nail there? Okay, sorry. Did you put that towel there? Did you put that towel there? This is cute. This really feels sick. Um, the little boy and the little girl from different families. Is that what you're asking? They like stayed there. I just hear Pipple saying, We at the hotel, hotel, oh holiday. And same. But Mariah says, Did the boy come from someplace else? Like he decided to stay there and befriend the little girl. Yeah, I feel like both of their families stayed there, but they aren't related. They, uh, they stayed there for like maybe a weekend, a week, or something like that, and they would play together because they're similar age. No, you're a towel. Are they like. Eight to ten years old, like yeah. around nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah, exactly. That's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, did you ever like go on vacation places as mm -hmm. like a kid, and like you always befriended like one other kid who's like also they on befriended me because I was the introvert, and then a lot of times they stopped talking to me because I was like, "You're talking to me. I am afraid of you." <laughs> <laughs> Hence why my mom's afraid of me. Making friends, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a very quiet child, very shy, still am. <laughs> Safe. All right. Let me listen. The girl is older, you're correct. She's taller. Okay. We're going to put subtitles on Which that. may not make her older. I'm sorry. She's telling me they were similar age, just girls grow faster than boys do because they go through puberty first. You're welcome. That's all I needed to say. <laughs> Just started recording. Yeah, that was definitely a breath. Is that what you heard? Yeah. Over my right shoulder. Dude. Dude. You just started I need to start doing effects like that. <laughs> what? I just went to take this booty box out. No, we need to do funny Something jump scares. Like, my mm -hmm. investigation. I, I like me being at the end of the hallway oh, like this. Wait, what the? <laughs> Hello. Dude. Yeah. Andrew? Dude. What are you talking about? This was. This just like. Got unplugged or something. Andrew, dude. I did not. No, I, did, I didn't no, hear no, like. No, a, I, did you feel? No, that? I just. No, I just realized I wasn't hearing any audio, and I looked down, and this was just dangling there. Oh. But I didn't. Andrew, you would never do that. Hold on, let me let me cut because I need to put this back in. I, I feel like something doesn't like. Okay, this. but let me. But I just feel it's kind of funny. That wasn't even me hearing it through my headphones. I just heard it. Yeah, no, me too. I heard it in my own ears, and I'm terrible at hearing. And I heard that. From right behind you. Okay. I'm feeling it. I feel like I'm, I feel, I feel, I'm actually feeling my spooky box moment. Cause this is worthy of it. That room from before, take a hike. This is the place. You to... almost look too scary right now. Let me turn the light on. Andrew, I don't look scary. I look handsome. When I say I look handsome, there's a ghost cat. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I didn't think that there was like a smaller box inside of that bag. <laughs> I what do you mean? I did, wasn't expecting him to like unzip it and there to be a smaller box in there. Yeah, that's what he was like trying to take out of the bottom of the stairs, I think. I missed it, I think. Yeah, that's why so I was I like, don't know. what I the just, hell was that? I don't know. I just think it's... Because I like, get the suitcase thing, but like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spooky. <laughs> that was literally medium spooky box. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, because it's broken. Kind of. That's probably why it fell. Maybe. Sorry. Alright, I'm gonna cut the camera. Right. What the f no, no, no. Was that you? I just turned on the camera. I just turned on the camera. I just turned on the camera. I missed it. The camera was off. Was I turned your yeah. camera off. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay. I turned it on Learn. while I was like screaming. Dude, that was inside the building 1000 percent that was over there how would you describe that it was like a do do what the hell like like okay. doom, doom. <laughs> i can't stop seeing the kids doing that mm -hmm. <laughs> i felt like it was also the kids i don't know it They're doesn't feel like trolling him <laughs> I don't know, they think they think he's funny. Uh huh. It's kind of like they're amused that they just have to make a noise and everybody goes wild. Mm hmm. 
Did they did they time it right as they turned off the camera? Oh, you know they did. That that's even like adds to the troll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is why you always film. <laughs> you always, <laughs> yeah, always have a roll. camera rolling. Yeah. So. Ah. Also, this kiwi strawberry one is very good. Right? That's why I got one for myself. I don't know how to explain it. Why are you laughing? Because it was scary. It's just funny. It's just, I don't know what to, I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. It just was so overtly inside and not outside. Oh, it's it's a normal place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. As I'm getting to my spooky box. <laughs> my spooky box. You, you shake that off or? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, it's spooky box time. Dude, every time I stop filming, something happens, which I... is a theme, but more so in this location than others. That was disgusting, man. Can we just my gloves up here so I don't forget that? You will forget the whole thing. Oh! <laughs> oh. I'm okay. Okay. Are you, you, you ready to see what I've been working on? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been waiting. Okay. Sorry, I know you've already technically seen this first part, but... Okay, you ready? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, what? Andrew, what? Dude! Chain rattling. You didn't uh, hear that? Dude, Let's right just, when you went to go. Someone does not like this spooky box. I'm trying to help. Trying to help? What is a spooky box? Alright. Okay, it's been a little crazy. Now I'm getting organized. Professional ghost hunting mode on. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. spooky box reveal. And finally give me my high beam moment. Maybe some cool music. Sure. Okay. Alright, you ready? Introducing, because the last one got stolen right from under my nose. The spooky box too. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang, I missed that. Well, I did miss that. <laughs> and right as we come to that one, it's oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Dude, I heard a fuck voice. I did. I did. I wasn't recording. I don't know what to. I don't know what to say. And I and I know what this is gonna sound like. <laughs> it sounded like it was saying my name. I swear. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know how to sound. I don't know how to say it to where it doesn't sound like I'm just making it up. It literally sounded like something going. And I swear. Andrew. Female voice. Shit, man. I got chills, and I'm not talking about the ten. Was that the old lady who said it, or is that the little girl? Or someone else. No, someone else. She's an old lady. I was gonna say, it was like, I see an older lady. Okay. Yeah, she's not the one older lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see an older lady who said it. She's a little bit more, uh, they show me her angular to tell me, like, in cartoons, when they draw them more angular, they're just more serious. I don't know, the lady with the cat's got, like, boho, like, hippie vibes. Is this true? Yeah. I feel like she was saying it because he keeps cutting and missing. So I feel like he was like, she's like, Andrew. Stop cutting. <laughs> well, she could have waited. <laughs> I know. That's what makes it even funnier. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know, because she just feels very, like, stern. Like, I told you. I don't know. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Degree temperature in here. I'm serious. We're on that later. That was, that was nuts. Oh, I'm sorry someone said your name, but... You, back there, late little lady, or, you know, you were stepping on the reveal of the spooky box, so just give me a moment. Yes, you know I love Rice Krispie Treats. I know, like, you I know that's why they're in there. I got a box of Rice Krispie Treats for us recently. Sounded like a real anthem. Charlie saw my wallet and actually took a dance. Whoa. Isn't it sick, Andrew? So this is the... Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just touched that. I'm sorry. But also, it's missing a wheel, so it's tilted. They're all doing it. That's never happened. I spent so much time with this. Yes, okay, backups, snacks while you're ghost hunting is very important. Especially you, at 3 a.m. Especially at 3 a.m. Lunchables are the best. Trust oh, me, yeah. we are professionals when I, it comes to this. Lunchables are not as good unless it's 
between the hours of 3 and 6 a.m. Especially when you, like, are at a ghost hunt or getting home from a ghost hunt. Priceless. Yeah. Dude, right here, you and M make homemade Rice Krispies. Okay, I actually have recipes Ooh. for that. My family has made them. Recipes? Yeah. So it's not just marshmallow well, fluff and some Rice you, Krispie treats? I've never made one. I can tell. <laughs> well, do you know the, um... Well, do you like Fruity Pebbles? Yeah. My family likes to make some that are, like, half Rice Krispie treats, half Fruity Pebbles, so they're, mm-hmm. like, a little bit sweeter, fruitier. So when we film our next vlog for Smoke and Mirrors... We're going to make Rice Krispie Treats. Sure. Great. We're going to do that and talk about our tarot decks. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, we can start off with that. Put all our tarot cards. And then, and then we can eat the entire tray while like, we're talking yeah. about mm-hmm. all of our tarot mm-hmm. decks. Because the camera's going to be fo- focused on the, like, cards, not our faces. So, mm-hmm. you know. Um, also, uh, Jamie asked, what does it mean when you guys say, is this true to each other? Would you like to explain or would you like me to explain? So if you guys have watched our live streams in the past, we've been doing Ouija board stuff. And we like to, okay, we figured out that we can do it without a Ouija board. Because a Ouija board is more or less, they tell you what to do with your body. So they inherently, you know what the answer is. So now we just say, is this true? And we get signs and symbols, feelings, whatever, to tell us what the answer is. And it's just like a double validation piece of being like, this is the answer that you're looking for. And sometimes for me, when I say, is this true? And you say yes and or no, and it doesn't fit with, I still think what is right. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Same. But it's very much just like, it helps validate what we're thinking in our heads and piecing things together in the right way. So it's kind of like if you had a pendulum or a Ouija board, the yes and no maybes on there, we do that without a Ouija board. Yeah. So So it's similar to using like pendulum, Ouija board, even like tarot, Mm -hmm. any any sort of divination tool or like equipment. It's not 100 percent. None of it really is. It's just using intuition for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it just helps us. Yeah, it's just a fun thing we do. So you don't yeah. have to put like any like actual weight into it. Like it's not like a full technique. It's just fun. We like we've just been doing it for yeah. It just oh, we've helps. been doing it for a while. A now. long time, probably almost a year now. Almost yeah. Yeah, because you showed me Ouija boards. Now it's like, okay, I know you don't even have your Ouija board right now, but I need you to tell me if this is true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's truly how it started. Mm-hmm. Was doing Ouija boards and then we were just asking each other is this true by like and while using the Ouija board and then we were like we don't have it but is this true and then the rest is history oh let's talk about Lunchables heavy craving and Uncrustable so I went up and got two we like the pizza Lunchables but a pizza Lunchable and an Uncrustable maybe we need to bring both of those now why haven't we brought Uncrustables dude I don't fucking know because they would be great they would be unfrozen by then yeah Thank write, that you. Down, write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Thank you, Gabrielle. <laughs> uh, maybe a dumb question, but can you just make a pendulum out of anything, like a string and stone? Yeah, we use like necklaces for, for pendulums if like we need them. You we can use a paper clip and a piece of floss if you so choose. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So. Cool. Let's get. I realize that we paused out. <laughs> 111. One, one, yeah, that 111 has been haunting my dreams. The, like, pinned comment, there's 111 characters on there. That fucked me up, too. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Nutella Uncrustables? I have those in the freezer right now. Let's see. I've never had one, but I think I need one. They're so because good. Because you're telling me what they taste like. They're so good, because it's just, it's just, it's like candy. Yeah, because when I say Uncrustables, that's the first thing you think of. Yeah, yeah. you're telling me what they taste like. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone a little curious about my Rice Krispie Treats? Oh, Andrew, this is my spooky box. Now listen, people, I have so many incredible things in here. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Dude, no, we need to no. do more, sh- like, jump scares <laughs> like that. You open a door. <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> See, the problem is we're not good at doing that. We're too autistic to, like, do, like, just jump scares like that. No, I can, I can figure it out. I've done jump scares in the past. But you know, whatever it happens. But like, there was this one where there was a scary doll, and they like just started putting their finger in there. Like, oh, <laughs> we need shit like that. <laughs> Cause it's hilarious. 
That is terrifying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why I needed to bring him? No, you did not need I to bring that like at all. Oh, well, yeah, he's got a present. Oh, yeah, he's got a present. All right. Oh, all right, yeah. I'm just gonna put him right here. Okay? Why? I just want him there. He's not doing anything. Of he's, this. Well, he's not doing anything now. We'll wait till you see this. Okay. Well, Jesus. Oh, it sucks. That thing's really haunted. It sucks. I'm holding yeah. a broken spooky box while you in that. He's not there. Me after three months. Oh, like when we're not around. <laughs> Dude, that happened. Well, I actually want to start doing this a lot more. I did this in the haunted makeup studio. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Because in each haunted oh, location we go into, I love the idea of if there is a spirit in there that wants to leave the place, that it can possess something and enter it. Uh, pretty sure it's already haunted dolls. But if anyone wants to enter this thing that goes, Beba! <laughs> you absolutely can. Oh, a little thud there. Yeah. Also, if that thing went off right now and you clearly weren't touching it, I would cry. That, that sounds like a horror movie, bro. I'm just it is. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. So back to the investigation. In this top section, you'll find so many things that are going to be great for our hot adventures. I think I might have explained to you. That's just Cody. Oh, you see his little face? Oh my god! <laughs> That's not what this box is about. It's not about little hot guys. It's about the supplies that we're going to be taking to haunted locations in order to be more serious. So these right here are just some haunted scissors from a house that I used to live in, and boy, these are powerful. These handcuffs? Those are for a very, very, very specific thing that poisoning. we are going to be doing, but I don't want to tell you what it is now. Oh god! No, I'm, I'm not kidding. I know that sounds weird, and I promise I don't mean it like that. Yeah, no, I don't mean it like that. This is something incredible, and I don't want to tell you about it right now. And by the way, not everything in this is for this thing. They're all for different haunted videos. You know how? Oh, those are just my toothpicks. Okay, you see, I have two pistols for us, right? And then I have fully charged holy water, which is, is of course, blessed. Okay, we should bring holy water. It's in a perfume bottle. To carry him around with me. This place is, oh, a telescope. Now, this is when we're this is the most, to an ocean. This is the most ADHD box ever. <laughs> my God. We need a box. We need a scary box. Dude, I don't want to carry it around. Well, I have like my little like pelican case thing. It has wheels. Yeah. I'll carry it around. I'll, I'll carry We have so much stuff. We just need more fairy people that carry our stuff. We do. Yeah. <laughs> they just want the treats. Give us the treats. Yeah, treat box. I know. I like the little like RGB lights. <laughs> They're great. You know? Now this is really something. <laughs> what okay. is that? I used to have yeah. one of those and I it? fucking when loved it. Your room, like this is really sensitive, right? You see? So what if it runs into something? We would be able to see it, right? So if we're really scared of a certain room, we could go into it prepared like this. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Whoa. <laughs> I'm not messing around in 2024. Oh, no, no, stop! Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Whipping. Sorry. But isn't that cool? Yeah, that's crazy. <gasps> like, no one doing it like me. Yeah. <laughs> You're just amazed. <laughs> so I'm like, what the okay. fuck? All right, so there's that. <laughs> oh, yes. Pickle ice. What? Pickle ice. Where did you get that? From the mercantile. You're stealing pickle ice from the mercantile? Now? I didn't steal a pickle. I stole the. I stole a pickle ice from the mercantile. And Andrew, don't be jealous because I got you one as well. Oh, I'm not gonna have that. <laughs> Why not? It's like right. the worst thing in the world. But imagine we have a couple pickle ices in this haunted hotel. So you know we go into a lot of abandoned places because you know how sometimes I hurt myself a lot. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Band aids in case there's a medical emergency. Oh, just band aids. Need those for you in case we actually hurt ourselves. Of course it's not enough, Andrew. Need That's why I have Neosporin as well. Oh. <laughs> the balloons are not for right now. That's for another place. This right here is a magnifying glass for investigating. This here, I do not want to talk about. Not right now. Those are just airheads because those are my favorite candies. That's a protective charm, which honestly, yeah, I'm gonna put this on you right now. Okay, I have things built in, but you need that. Jeez! Oh, see, if that would have sliced my side open, we would have had the bandage. This drawer, just your typical snacks. You actually inspired this one. So I got this in a real magic shop. And this is just a genie lamp in case someone and needs to be home. This is just a okay? genie lamp. So if I suspect there's a gin in a haunted location, which I don't think is too common, that's gonna come in handy. What is a gin? It doesn't stay Andrew, it's a genie. Okay. Um, that's to bait a glamorous ghost. Now this is a big deal. New ghost detector. Velcroed in because I'm a professional. That's of course coming with us on this adventure right now. 
All right. Okay. Um, okay. Now these, do you know about these, Andrew? Yeah, you've never actually used those. So these cat balls right here are done in paranormal investigations right here. You activate it, like that. Okay, I did the sound effect with my mouth. Did you hear? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, so they're very, very, very hypersensitive to any sort of activity. No, they're not. So you roll them into a location that you want to investigate. Standing next to him. Oh my god, stop, stop. It's kind of like. Right when I rolled the cat ball. Wow. Dude, just... what is, is it? What the hell? It rolls back. What is happening? Dude, <laughs> if that happens to me, I quit. <laughs> this moment is incredible to me. It rolls back. I'm sorry. I'm going to see a toy. It's the cat. It's the cat. <laughs> Yeah. No, there is someone standing next to you. He's a man. And he's kind of like... Okay. Dude. What oh are you, God, like... Stop, stop. Kind of goatee. Right when I rolled the cat ball. Mm-hmm. Dude. Just... What is, is it... What the hell? Dude. Just... What is, is it... What the hell? What is happening? Oh, they think there was an orb? Oh. I don't think it was an orb. I that was very I scary. think it was dust. So the idea is... Yeah, we should also say... We are people who are very, very skeptical of, um... Orbs. Yeah, of orbs. So Disagree. many things can make orbs, and I don't think people realize that. Like, if you have a camera, any amount of light going into the camera can create an, an orb. So if you have, like, a flashlight and you point it into a camera, it will make an orb. Point yeah. blank, period. So if it's dust, a bug reflecting light into a camera lens it will look like an orb or reflect it somewhere else to look like an orb yeah especially like old haunted buildings like this are so dusty there's like always like dust and debris and everything flying around it's so easy to like have catch orbs. something that looks like it's just it's usually dust yeah it's usually a dust or bugs or someone has a light inside a camera like pointing it into a camera yeah so, but I do think that there's someone standing next to him. He wasn't the orb. <laughs> yeah. He just is kind of like, wow, you guys are amused by this? This is literally a ball for cats. That's this the kind crazy. of vibe I get it from him. Yeah. Also, those cat balls aren't super sensitive. No. We have given them to our cats, and they have been like aggressively batting them around, and they don't trigger. Yeah. It's hard to, you have to very much physically move them, and sometimes yeah. it's a pain in the ass to make them go off. Yeah. So, so typically, we're surprised when they go off because yeah. it takes a lot. It takes a lot. So we're like, wow, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Is if that were to go off, that would mean that something touched into it. Oh, if that if we went back in here and that rolled in here. Okay, wait. This is just for your typical no scared room sort of thing. So whenever we get too freaked out, we can just oh. kind of have a party in here. And I actually think we should leave this set up in here because this is the home of the spooky bars. Yeah. Headlamp. I'm gonna put this on now for us, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. That was crazy. That just turned on on its own. What the hell was that? Dude, that's really hard to turn on. Wait, what the hell? That's just a little computer for playing music. Wait, that wasn't anywhere near you. That's insane. I am okay, feeling so much better, <laughs> thank you. We have that to yeah, not so feeling as sick now. as the other day, okay. which is great. great. But that's just if we want to play games. I play really want to get, like, children's whoa, 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 that, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. are easy trigger and see what, what happens when we them into places. Because mm -hmm. my sister... My sister has um, this toy for her daughter that's, like, a rainbow that has, like, a push button to turn it on and it will just turn on by itself they like have watched it happen so like Weird. i want to get some children's toys that are easy to like trigger and see if anything happens because that would be a lot scarier than like a flashlight going on and off. Mm -hmm. Having like some weird child's toy that like sings and dances you know just saying. Also um I was like, I like the idea of a no scare room. It's that's literally a home base for chilling. Most places that we've gone to have like mm -hmm. a specific like team room that you can like set up. You can leave all your stuff in charge, all that kind of stuff. Furby, no, I'm not. Furbies are actually possessed. Well, I used to have one. It was one of the baby ones, and my cat really liked it. 
So it would bring it around at 3 a.m., throw it against your door, and it would say, <laughs> Mommy! At 3 a.m. Oh, God. And you had to wake up to take the batteries out of it, or I would continue to talk at 3 a.m. <laughs> get a Tickle Me Elmo? We should get a Tickle Me Elmo. That sounds even more terrifying. Mm -hmm. I'd rather we, get a Furby. We have a Boo Bear. We do have a Boo Bear. Boo Bear is annoying. <laughs> That's why we don't use him a lot, because he doesn't stop talking, because um, he's supposed to, like, ask the questions and then record the answers or something. I'm not entirely sure, but... If he just stopped talking, he'd be awesome because he, like, lights up. He tells you when he gets cold or hot. He's cool otherwise, but he just won't stop asking questions. <laughs> so, but I do want to use him in, like, like an SS solo type thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about in the future. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm excited to try. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Star. Andrew, that's playing Val's voice. That was weird as dude. The hell? That was playing Val's voice. I know. Dude, what, I, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. No, no, I have to go into my phone, hook it up to my Bluetooth. Like, it's a whole process. That turned on on its own and started playing Val's voice downstairs. Wait, why was it playing Val's voice? Because I recorded a video on my oh, phone. Wait. Sorry, someone just said, or like those dancey cactus mm. toys that like repeat the words they hear from babies. Have you seen those? Yeah. That would be a good one. Is this true? Yes. Is this true? Yes. Okay. I'm asking if you guys should say this during a live stream. Oh. Um, well, I feel like... I, this is a longer story than it needs to be, but... <laughs> if, <I'm> you, <laughs> if you've watched, uh, like, Cody and Satori and they do their, like, knocking method... I feel like we're going to figure out the knocking mm. method, and when that happens, I feel like that thing will work because it needs to be loud enough. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I can see us using it in the future, but it's not from, it's not mocking knocking noises. Yeah. It's mocking, like, like voices. It disembodied voices. Yes. Yeah. Because that's, that's going to be fucked. If that's mm -hmm. real and that happens... Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been watching us lately, but we've been trying to, like... I don't know, like, connect our energies, like, figure out how to do what Cody and Satori do, because I'm jealous. I want to know how to do that. That seems very cool. I also believe that what they're doing is real. Mm hmm So I want to figure out how we can do it, because we have similar, like, like soulmate kind of energy that, like, clicks together. We just got to figure all the pieces out. Yeah. So. You guys seem closer than you think. Yeah, we've... Um, if you watched our, like, the Madison Seminary Investigation Part 1, mm -hmm. when I'm in the Devil's Toy Box, yeah. um, there's a lot of, like, crazy knocking and really loud sounds that happen that we think that that is, like might be something that was, like, the start of things, because obviously, like, I'm under the Estes method mm -hmm. in a different room. They thought it was me making the noise. I didn't hear any of the noises. Yeah. And looking at, like, all the different camera angles, I wasn't able to tell what was making the noises, and some of them are really yeah. weird, so... Well, you can also tell, because I was on the outside, I thought it was you. It was clearly not you, mm -hmm. so I was seeing everybody and was still confused as to where the noise was coming from. Yeah. But, um, what's interesting is, if you guys watch our vlog channel, like, Haunted Smoke and Mirrors... Riker is smoke, and we put them in a box of mirrors, which is the devil's toy box. And we literally think that because of the mirrors, they were able to put, like, a portal-esque thing within the mirrors, like a temporary portal, and that was the thing that was, like, banging against the walls within the, like, devil's toy box. So we think that that was kind of, like, the start of it, because... Riker smoke, I mirrors. If we put Riker in a like box of mirrors, that would be similar to us combining our energy to make that happen. Mm -hmm. So you were putting it in physical mirrors, but we need to figure out how you to put it in a non physical mirror. Yeah. Um, Cause I know people have also like, I don't know. We've, when we've been trying it, we also don't have to be touching yeah. But it seems to work best if one of us is in, like, a deeper a trance. trance. Mm -hmm. So. 
Yeah, we're trans mediums, not physical mediums. Yeah. Physical mediums need more of the, like, physical validation, physical stimulus in order for things to, like, happen or information to come through. So that's what Cody and Satori are doing. That's why it works when they are touching. But for us, we're trans mediums, so it's easiest to get information when we are in a transient, like, state or, like, kind of zoned out, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really easy to go into a trance during the Estes method just because, at least, at least for me, mm-hmm. just because it's, like, I don't know, noise canceling, usually a blindfold, and you're just hearing things, so, yeah. I don't know, you can, like... Yeah. I think you guys need a conduit be- between you for now, something to amplify the energy. I've seen some people um, suggest that... I don't think we fully need to. I think we're just trying to figure... We just need to figure out how to like sit in the energy Mm because we we're having things like start happening and we're we're, like dark documenting it as we go but i don't know you guys are getting that sort of thing we're still trying to figure out the kinks though so but uh what's interesting because i can see people saying oh what would happen if m was put in smoke What's weird is I was the only person not to go into the devil's toy box and do the assist method. So we think maybe something weird like that was for a reason. Yeah. Because I also feel like our spirit guides are preventing it from happening until the right moment. So yeah. a lot of times they intervene before things start happening or before we like figure it out too soon. Mm-hmm. So hopefully um, we can do it yeah okay, i really want em and Riker to read the smoke like from incense or candle like scrying it Ooh, that'd be cool yeah i have incense i mm-hmm. love incense and smoke and stuff like that obviously yeah i've done smoke reading smoke drawing readings where you take a candle and you like draw on a piece of paper with the i smoke. have an example right here um and it's kind of scrying in that sort of sense, but I've never done it just through smoke itself. Yeah, have you done so. some... Well, you can do fire and... Yeah, because I've, I've done fire scrying before. Yeah, you told me about it. Yeah. So we could do fire and smoke. That'd be cool. Because I think I'm fire, you would think that you're smoke. Mm-hmm. So that would be very on brand. Yeah. So. Sorry, I know we're kind of answer. We're taking a second to answer some questions, but I feel like you guys are... It's, like, a great moment. I don't know why. Yeah, well, I kind of triggered people yeah. <laughs> just by saying, Cody and Satori, yeah. controversy. Yeah. But, because, uh, Elso, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Mm-hmm. Um, but they said, even with Cody and Satori, there are some questions they ask the spirits say they can't answer. Yeah, so our interpretation of what, like, the things that, like, they can't answer, and because in, like, the debunking video, they say that there's, like, Someone is saying that, like, they can't share everything. Soul is good? Great. Um, Soul. There's... I don't know. We felt like there was some sort of, like, archangel or something mediating, regulating things. Because there's, like... There are, like, ranks and, like, rules to things. Yeah, in a, in a sense. You can't have information that infringe upon infringes upon your free will. And this is a very basic example. If... I were to tell someone, like, if they came to me for, like, a reading, and I were to tell them, oh, you shouldn't go and get surgery. That's maybe infringe upon your free will, because that takes away your ability to choose. You're not going to do it because I told you not to. So they don't give us information like that because it can alter, like, it alters the timeline. It alters where people are going. It takes away people's free will. That is an aspect, but I also feel like a lot of the uh, things that were happening that were preventing information from coming through was very much like uh, in regards to keeping them safe. They make me feel like a lot of the information that wasn't shared was to make sure that people don't attack Cody and Satori. Because mm-hmm. they already are. Yeah. But... Cody and Satori talk about, because this is what they're telling me, there's this old woman telling me this, they're telling me that Cody and Satori talk about how if they were to try to prove it and do experiment after experiment after experiment, it, like, wouldn't necessarily prove it to everyone. Everyone is still going to be skeptical, and it could cause people more harm than it actually, the good and positive aspect of it. 
because mm-hmm. there's people that where paranormal activity, like you can have a full-on physical apparition happen in front of you, and people would still be like, no, that wasn't real. That wasn't happening. They could, like, a spirit could slap you across the face, and there will be people being like, that was not real. Mm-hmm. So they're like, there's no amount of experimentation that we can do to, like, make everyone happy. But because of the controversy and what channel, like, the platform they were put on, I feel like souls were mediating information to protect them. Yeah, so that's that's also part of why, I don't know, we're being very, like, transparent and, like, documenting everything and yeah. just being, like... So you guys can see is, the, yeah. like, growth of it. Yeah, so, like, we've tried at times and, like, things Nothing haven't happens. happened. Mm-hmm. Nothing happens, like... And we don't necessarily expect things to happen, but it's something that we just are very, I don't know, we're trying to be very, like, transparent. and Yeah, just... well, it would also be cool to, like, watch something like that happen. Yeah. Because, like, it would be cool to watch Cody and Satori, like, figure that all out. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, I want to figure out how we can do it, and if we can document the process, that would be so cool. Yeah, Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it was, I was super frustrated to watch the debunking videos. Anyone can find answers to their narrative that they are not I'm sure it's frustrating for Cody and Satori, but they expected it. Yeah, yeah I think that, um, I, I don't know, I've kept up with a lot of the debunking things that have been going on, and I, I think that, like, debunking is, like, a good thing, because I think it's good to, like, I'm someone who is also skeptical of things, so, like, I don't always believe the paranormal shit that is happening right off the rip. Um... But I, at least for me, especially when it comes to Cody and Satori, I haven't found, like, specific debunking things that fit. That, that, that fit. Mm-hmm. Um, especially, I don't know, like, it's either, like, joint popping, which I don't feel like it's joint popping, or it's contraptions, or he's a ventriloquist, or this, that, and the other. And I just haven't seen things when, like, that, like, have proved that it's debunking. Yeah. So I know it that is un, like people keep telling us that it is 100% debunked. It's fake. All of this stuff, but that has not happened. We have not seen that. So, yeah. No so, one has come forward and been like, "Oh yeah, I was actually like pulling one under your nose." I don't think that that's true. So yeah. So we believe that we we still like after seeing everything and keeping up with what's been going on feel like Cody and Satori are real um and obviously like if other people don't believe that that's totally fine i think mm-hmm. that's what i mean it's paranormal yeah. spiritual stuff that's people, how it goes that's how it goes so that's also why when we go to investigations i don't know we're not trying to prove that like yeah. the paranormal is real or it exists because we feel like there's already so much evidence and proof of that we just want to connect well, I don't I'm to the like the spirits themselves to the, sp- the spirits themselves because that's the interesting part for us well it's also like i'm a psychic medium i talk to souls for my job so like i don't you don't need i'm to prove not it. proving it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't need to i just want to share their stories because i feel like that's yeah people that's don't do that yeah so it brings humanity to ghost hunting yeah so I don't know. We've like we've had people criticize us for it, like our stance on it, which is totally fine. They have the right to do that. Well, they just tell us that like we don't have proof that a ghost exists, but it's also like that's not what we're trying to do. Yeah, we're not <laughs> in the realm of trying to like show proof or like full blown evidence. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, sorry, I could go on about this for <laughs> so long. I've had so many thoughts about things recently. Last thing I'm going to say is, like, I know, like, a lot of people have been bringing up, like, flashlights aren't, like, 100%, like, they're, like, they've been debunked, which is true for really every single piece of paranormal Mm -hmm. equipment. We don't necessarily put 100% of, like, faith or stock in the equipment that we use, and we don't need the equipment, but it is just a way of validation, and it makes it more interesting for videos. Yeah, it helps other people feel... Like, yeah, there's more validation that they're talking to someone physical because something physical is happening in our videos. It helps people feel more connected to those spirits. Yeah. So that's why it's important for us to do those things because it helps the connection for the viewer to 
the spirit that we're yeah. talking to. And I mean, we've still had, we've still captured like crazy shit, like yeah. And there's, but it's just like so chill because <laughs> like I literally was talking to some man in like a prison and just immediately. It was just so responsive, yeah. this music box. Well, even in the um, the Indiana video that's up on our channel, yeah. like, I'm scrying in a mirror, and depending on who I'm focusing on in Rem the mirror, the, whether the, the woman or the dude Stonewall, the pitch and, like, pattern of the REM pod would change in accordance to that, and I still weird. have no idea how that happened, but... Yeah. Anyways, tangent aside, we'll get back to the video. It just... Yeah. That, there was your your talk about that. I probably I need believe to. in you. Earlier, <laughs> but because I clicked off. That doesn't make yeah. any sense. Because that would. Oh, yeah, we're still doing the my spooky video box. files and play. That is disgusting. That is very, very weird. That is the weirdest thing that's ever happened. So it was playing a video on your phone. It was somehow, specifically a Val. Andrew, here's the real question. Where is my phone right now? Well, I know, but why would it be specifically playing that video no, in and, your and camera? No, and that's not even the last video I took. No, I know, that's my what I'm saying. My phone is in my pocket locked. Oh, I got a DM from this dude. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But dude, my phone is locked right now. I just like that he has none of me. What? <laughs> why, why that specific <laughs> yeah. way? Why that? That is insane. Val's voice. Someone in here is like smart. That, there is like a taunting spirit. Everything that's happened when you're not filming, that is just, that's like scary kind of S-H-I-T. Okay, yo. This is just something that's fun. This is another thing if we get too scared. It pops open and shows you a whole, a whole, a whole princess castle. Whoa. <laughs> is that cool? Uh, yeah. If you're not a princess guy, that's fine, because look, that one's all dinosaurs. Did you hear that? Andrew, did that you hear Did you hear that just now? Ooh. It was like, oh. Ooh. Yeah, I did. It was when I opened up the dinosaur 3D display. Maybe Why are there so many toys in this box? Oh, I, I don't, don't know. know. Dinosaurs? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, okay. Are you kidding me on cue? I was joking. Yeah, I know you were joking. Dude, if you do that again, I'm gonna throw up if it does it again too. God. Was someone in here a big fan of dinosaurs? What the f Dude, is this a joke? Sorry for cussing. No, that's okay. We can bleep it out. Yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're quite cursy today. Yeah. Was someone in here a big fan of dinosaurs? What the f I don't hear anything. I don't I hear anything. That three I haven't heard that at all. I don't even want to do that again. It was like, oh. Um, okay, so that's something to add to the equation um, about the dinosaurs. The plan. I know this song. <sighs> okay, first of all, I can't stop thinking about that Bell's voice thing. That was very epidemic scary. sound. Oh, okay, cool. So that's I, probably I, why we haven't well, gotten copyrighted. Well, yeah. <laughs> I did. No, yeah. all of oh, so many of the sounds. I'm like, hmm. mm -hmm. I have oh, so I a lot of people plan. use epidemic okay. sounds. Yeah. Need to get focused and actually start this investigation. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, I put the little harmonica in there. I can always play you a song if you get bored. Is that pretty? Okay, it's time for the play. Pretty? This is what we're gonna do. In order to investigate this hotel properly, I have this portfolio. Okay, and inside of this portfolio, guess what I have? Markers. Okay. That's my Popeye coloring book. That's not for now. In fact, that doesn't even look scary. Let me put it behind here. Popeye coloring book? Well, yeah, you gotta have a coloring book on hand. Okay. Investigation music. Okay. Oh, so. Wait. Sorry, I missed it. Grab it out of your pocket again, then cue the music again. Okay, it'll look cool and the music will sound cool. You ready? Okay. Okay, so this right here is the blueprint that Austin gave us for this very hotel. So I figured we'll just go room by room, you know, check it off as we go about what supernatural activities are inside of it, right? And we can color code it with different markers. So where did we come in here? Such a me thing. We came in on the stairway. Dude, 
Dude, all the focus is getting him. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, so we came up these stairs right here. Do, 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 and then we entered here. That's where the spooky box was, and it fell, okay? Right now, we are in this room right here. That is where the spooky box is. So I'm just gonna put a little key for where the spooky. Oh, jeez. Oh, I had energy drinks. Ew. I had so many energy drinks. Did it smell like Swedish fish? I hated every second of that. Well, there was a Swedish fish flavored ghost energy drink. Okay, so right there, Andrew, that is the spooky box. Okay, so we're gonna call it that right there. Hello? It sounded like a chair just moved. Did you hear that? It was like... Yeah, I heard it. Anyway, so we're continuing our investigation here. Right, right here I'm putting this H, because we had... Major haunted activity happened right there where the spooky box got knocked over on its own, which wasn't terrific. In here, I'm gonna put a hundred H's because we had a billion terrible things happen in here, right? Could you not find a thinner marker? I mean, no, I couldn't. This is the only one that I could find. Sorry, I'm not the king of markers. That's the room with the disco ball. That's the room with the disco ball. That's a disco ball? <laughs> Did anything scary happen in there? Um, not really. Okay. Like, a, like when it's not that scary, we can do this. Now, did we go in that room? No, but I think that's where that noise came from. <gasps> okay. When I wasn't recording. What the f***? And you know what that means, Andrew? That's an H. Cat balls right there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna travel this way, because right here, we can go out of this room, okay? And we're just going to travel around the entire hotel, going room by room until we get back to here and seeing what's going on, okay? And then as we go, we can just mark haunted or not haunted. Sound good? Maybe, uh, say that. I so bad, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what are you gonna go pee? The mercantile! Oh. I'm not gonna stay here, bro. I didn't expect you to stay here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what? What the hell was that? What, you hear that? It's like something peeling, like paint yes, off, peeling off the right. wall. I have to be so bad at it. Alright. Hey, I'll be right back, one second. Whoa, whoa, wipe your feet, wipe your feet. Uh, I am wiping my feet. Back to it. Oh my god. Did you hear that? I Andrew, did. were you recording? Were you? I just turned the camera on what? right after. You've got to be kidding me. I you you said, kidding me. Right, uh, start recording and I Andrew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whoa. That exactly that. Literally from the top of the stairs, it was a voice that just went. Yeah. Dude, you know what's funny, Andrew? The whole thing with this place is how much activity happens when no one is up here. The second we come back in, we hear a voice from the top of the stairs. He made custom oil oil water right? guns for Sam and Colby and gave it to them. That's oh amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Just be quiet for a second. Now they are pistols. <laughs> Holy water got pistols. Back. Like you, you, you would leave all your stuff up there, it would be gone. If something came down these stairs, I would lose my mind. The spooky box, Andrew. Can you imagine just getting <laughs> down the stairs right now? Go start dumping. You said you want to start recording, I hit record, and right before it, it went, what? Light off for just 30 more seconds. I can't. Can I go on anymore? Or can you like face yeah. it down a little bit more so it like hits your head? Yeah. This kind of thing? Like this? Like right there! What was it? It just did it again. Are you serious? Yes, yes, yes. Same exact thing. Anything. Me either. Whoa. That's what I heard. Like this. It's like right there. Like this. It's like right there. That sounded like his clothing. I don't know. What the f is going on up there? Dude, it's like someone just up there playing with everything. Oh, when dude, he just did it again! Oh my god, dude. Oh, when. Oh, when. Dude, he just did it again! Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know, it doesn't feel bad. Are you recording? 
It doesn't feel like anything to me. Yeah. Personally. Same. But. I think these can definitely be movement. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I don't know that that's someone talking. Yeah. So. Just turn the camera on. Andrew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. That. Exactly that. Okay. Dude, that happened like three times. Two separate sounds. One was like a piece of technology, the other one was like a moan. It's like something is playing with my stuff up there. Dude, literally. Andrew, is there like, I wonder if there's any kind of like kid up oh, there. Shit. Like kid spirit. Dude, that's actually really sweet. He always looks so scared. Mm hmm. It's like there's walking up there. Yikes. All right, well, Andrew, it's getting extremely late, so let's get in there and go room by room and just see what happens, okay? Yeah, I was more, okay. Less interested in doing that now after that, but okay. Mm -hmm. It's for the dramatic effect. <laughs> I actually have another camera on my camera. Are oh, you gonna do the thing? Yes. So, on your last video, people said they wish sometimes there was a camera on me when we were talking. Yes. So. Can you see yourself okay? Yeah. Oh, yes, let me see. I wanna come around and see you. <laughs> yes, Andrew Sawicki. Oh, that's so cool. Man, my face is real dirty. <laughs> We're just gonna go room by room, see what's going on here, all right? I think, honestly, we filmed, I think, most of this video already, but we have to see this hotel. All right, so let's assess. Standing here for a moment, pretty empty. I don't know. Oh, oh. What is that, a like Christmas tree stand in here? What is that? Oh, that's a Christmas in here. Yikes. Okay, it beeped Andrew a little bit, the ghost detector, around that dead bug. It might be haunted a little bit by that dead bug. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna check that room by room. There's like a lot of room, so you're. <laughs> There's not that many in Andrew room. We've already established a lot of information here. So this is room seven, right? Yeah, that's the cat ball room. Wait, no. Okay, so we're, we're, no, 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 no. That's not the cat ball room. No, we're we're we're, we're over there. Wait, that's the spooky box room, right? Yeah, we're on, we're right there. Right here. Fifteen, I think, right? What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. The rooms are labeled. Okay, so I'm just gonna put 3.3 level haunted. <laughs> what are you oh. doing? Well, that's right, there's a secret pouch. Okay. I don't think that this is a good system. Sorry, I got defensive. It's alright. Okay. Down there. Oh, oh this is not I wish that room was around the doors, because I'm not organized. Wait, like seven? Room seven. Oh, this looks crazy. What? Your breath. Your breath is going into the flashlight. It's cool. Ooh, cool and cinematic. I don't feel too much of a presence in here. Wait, what the hell? Why is a plate from Holland doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like some kind of little bread factory. Like some sort of little bread factory in, in Belgium. You getting that? Whoa. Oh, well, that's just because that dropped. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of look. Andrew, like I don't know, right it doesn't now. look like a mess. It looks oh. fine. Let me just mark off what this room is. Oh, I don't. Alright. <laughs> you put the devil's toy box out. In the video, it said it was available for members, but I couldn't ever find it. Not yet. It is coming. We've What's been. That? It's been a stressful week. <laughs> we had to take our cat to the vet again. He got neutered. He, he got He's neutered. Having complications because that's who he is as a person. Yeah, he our, we, our cat Azriel got neutered, and then apparently he's been too much of a menace to society and has been too active and it. So now he's in a dog crate. Yeah. So now we have him in like an extra extra large dog crate. He, mm -hmm. We made him a studio apartment so he doesn't jump and run around too much. Yeah. So. We will get it to you. We have a couple of bonus videos for uh, mm -hmm. Madison. So if you guys are interested in memberships, do the thing. <laughs> oh, the thing, sorry. The thing. You're talking to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Members. Members. If you guys are interested in memberships, they will come up here in a second. Nightbob will give that to there you. There it is. You can join Access and get exclusive content. And if you missed our last announcement, 
We just recently opened Patreon up on our vlog channel, Haunted Smoke and Mirrors. So if you want to click that link, it's not an actual link, but you can <sighs> Why copy does it and paste hate that me so much? into the browser. It's fine. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> um, but we just opened Patreon. You got half of that link. God, I... <laughs> I am a professional. It, That's it, not gonna work that, either. Bebop. Bebop. I believe in you. I, I you I shouldn't. You can also there did you see that button down down right there. Yeah. No. What? Okay. You get some copy link. Wow, okay. I'm like <laughs> the drama You know what I'm saying brings you to the joy. I'm sending it anyways because You're welcome. That's that's it. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> I Want waffle fries? Yeah. So we just we just open up Patreon for Haunted Smoke and Mirrors, and there are six tiers. We are releasing more content over there that is specifically mediumship stuff, and we are doing more live streams and mediumship focused like workshops and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in the mediumship side of things and not just the ghost hunting side of things, I would join our Patreon. But again, yeah. if you're interested in the ghost hunty things, we have members on this channel that Nightbot kindly gave to you. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, 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 anyways. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Room seven, room six is zero point two. Oh, Dude, this one cheap. Oh, no. All right. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Let's just not do this whole grading every room, every single room. Hey, that's a good idea, because as you know, I'm not too good at holding a bunch of stuff. No. I'll just put it in the room with the spooky with the box. It's all good. And, and that's how you lose else. things. <laughs> I've almost lost left glasses. I know. Places. Dude, I'm surprised we didn't forget those. What's that for? What do you think that that is for? I don't know. Oh, this is nine. Well, that's good, Andrew. Well, we'll remember nine has nothing. Yeah, all these rooms kind of look the same. Ooh! I think there might be potential for a haunted toilet. Oh wait, they said the bathrooms are freaky. Wait, what's what 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 what, what are you doing? I thought I just heard steps. What is that? No. From behind? Andrew, you didn't hear that? Right there. Dude, this is dicey. Is yeah, this the hallway to nowhere, yeah. whatever the hell? Yeah, 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 maybe. I think that's the corner you were talking about. Wait, wait, wait. Put your flashlight. Dude, wait, Andrew. In this hall where we dispelled that, can we kill the light for a second? Turning the lights off right here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus. This is... Whoa! Hey, we just Are got someone, a new serious? Patreon right member. Now? Thank you. Oh, what's up, what's my up? guy? Did you hear that? Yes, 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 yes. Right by the, the toilet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jeez! Oh, no, no, there's a shower curtain in there. Oh, okay. Well, that's scary. What if there's someone got hurt with a knife? The uh, butler oh, dude's like, I mean, yeah. the, the bellhop dude is like, <laughs> dude's scared of a bathroom. Wait, do you have any gear for this moment, man? You got that nice spooky box. Oh, do I something. Got, I got the rusty sense. Do something throne. so I feel like there's be. Whoa, what in the hell is that? Oh, no. I'll do something. What are you doing, Jeez? I'll do shit. <laughs> All right, if you don't scare us, you can have the pickle ice. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Well. Also, what the fuck is a pickle ice? Dude, do you hear that? Yes. I think it's like oh, a pickle-flavored popsicle. And he's carrying it around in his pocket? Cool. You know as much as me. <laughs> I just, it doesn't <laughs> look like a popsicle. I don't know. It looks like a, it's, I think it's like an otter pop type thing. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just work here. Pickle. Ice. That sounds horrible. Frozen pickle juice. Ah. Disgusting. And he's carrying it around in his pocket. Responding to dinosaurs. It's actually good. I hate pickles. I, icy, has, salty, vinegar, so pickly, ice like tree. It's actually stuff. good. I don't like, like pickles. With the things in there, responding to dinosaurs. Dude, you got I don't like vinegar. vinegar. I don't like know what the dum-dum thing, thing is, but do something with the dum-dums. You know? Just like, you could just eat one? Uh, no, I meant like... Oh my gosh, is there a kid in here? Yes. Several. <laughs> Dude. Hey, when you were a kid, you used to run around hotels, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I lived in one. Yeah, but you might go back to a hotel after you die. I would go to the Peabody Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee and have the time of my life. Well, maybe somebody who died in the early 1900s came back here. They came back here? Kid. Oh, a kid. Oh! the hell was that? The little girl likes Andrew. Okay, let's keep moving. 
Ooh. What? I don't like that room at all. I don't like it one bit either. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do something in the bathroom. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. I mean, wait. Uh, wait. No, I mean, like, video. you know, in, uh, in St. Ignatius, went to the bathroom. Remember something called my name? I don't know. Bathrooms might be like... I think someone's already said your name in here. It sounded like it was saying my name. I swear. Well, true. Andrew, can you see what's in this with me? Maybe there's a dead body standing there. Kids want to see a dead body. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, cool. Ew. Oh, my God. Dude. I don't like face. vinegar or Just cucumbers. No, Andrew, don't say it. Andrew, be careful. Lose, lose situation. Whole other level. Wait, what? Dude. Wait, what? Oh. All right. <gasps> okay, with everything that's been happening right here, Andrew, one more cat ball. I have to turn it on. All right? I just want to put this right in the bathroom. I think it turned off. <laughs> I think it turned off. <laughs> I thought that yeah. was Andrew. Yes. I don't know. That's what I think. Why does that keep doing that? You have to touch the keyboard physically. Is there a kid back there? Why don't they go over to it? Andrew, did you hear that person? Is there a kid back there? Are you serious? I'm trying to question them. I get it, man. I get it. Why else? Yeah, I heard the breathy, but I thought that was Andrew. Uh, I don't know. I think something's going on with our our lights are like flickering. I'm gonna turn mine because off. Because they're adorably inexperienced. Oh, yep. That's what I thought. There's just too much light going on right now. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna kill it. I can't see anything. I kind of want. I don't want to try. Okay. Dude, it's when the lights are off. This place kind of like does some stuff. Every time. My guess is this place is untouched for a hundred years. We come in here with lights and noises and all this stuff. I feel like things just sort of go like. Things just sort of freeze. Things just pause. Come in That speaks. <laughs> Auto focuses. Well, no, that's not even worth talking about. Um, well, no, that's not even worth talking about. Um, you think that was something? I don't think it was kill me. I don't think that's what they said. I agree. I don't think it was that. I don't know. I don't feel like it was... Yeah, I don't know. It sounded whispery, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there's someone telling me about it. They make me feel like they're... What they did to the audio made it sound like it was coming from a person. Because, I don't know, it to me it sound sounded like... Free. I don't know, to me it sounded more like their, like, jackets moving. Yeah. Like, whispery. Yeah, there's an old woman saying that it, them, like, raising the audio made it sound more whispery than it actually was. That makes sense, because, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, the butler guy is, like, there, and the kids are there, but it's not, like, I don't, I don't know. think that came from anyone. That's why I was, like, yeah. I don't hear I, no, kill me, but it also sounds like a whispery voice, so I'm confused. But she's saying that it is, um just the way it was altered, sort of. Like, I don't think they altered it. I think they just raised the volume of it or the camera did something to it, but I don't think it is anything. I agree with so. that. Yeah. I don't know. I felt that way about a lot of the, yeah, like, noises. <laughs> Autofocuses. Well, no, that's not even worth talking about. Did he say it? Um, I hate that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> 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 
I don't know, I think it's just this close. <laughs> and they're off, man. The place kind of like comes to life. Well, that's interesting to learn that at this point. <gasps> Dude, it just keeps on going. What is going on in here? Well, you know what's cute though? These are kiddie pools. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. All right. Oh, <laughs> flashlight's glitching a little bit. The flashlight is like flickering like crazy on camera. Well, <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. It's doing this right now. I'm going to set this flashlight down because nothing. That does not have a function that does. Whoa, 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 whoa. It goes, dude, that's crazy. <gasps> yeah, I agree with you, School's Eyes. I don't feel like he necessarily dislikes them. I just see him kind of following him around. Yeah. <laughs> just very kind of like... You're the bellhop, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone seems just kind of amused by them, but very like... I don't know, this place feels very chill to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wish there was dark things. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Camera's making weird noises. Camera... Back in the room? What was that? This is... What was actually that? This is getting there, man. Wait, wait, wait. This, this room. No, 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 no. This is nuts. No, I can't. I just have to turn this off, I guess. Camera's making crazy noises. Why is every piece of technology going nuts all of a sudden? Uh, I think it's time to go down this room. <laughs> that is nuts. Yikes. What? What is that? Oh, I don't know, Andrew, you like heard a something like slithery, did. like, little something on the ground. It was me! <laughs> a weird snake? We're like, okay. <laughs> Is it you who's doing the whole thing? Sure. Tell Austin I think he's cute. He slithers away, and we're like, okay. <laughs> we get it, man. Yep. <laughs> Someone didn't like my joke. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good on this. What the f*** was that? What is the deal? Wait, what is that even? What, what is that? What, what, what? What is that way? I, we've never been in here before. Haven't we? No. God, I don't like this. What? I don't know. There's bags of grain. <laughs> I don't think I know what grain looks like. <laughs> Nobody that bored. <laughs> what about me? Wait, wait, wait. This room is huge. Wait, wait, wait. Try your flashlight in this room. What the? Oh. F what? Andrew. What was that? That sounded no, no, no. crazy. That was over. Mm -hmm. What? The, dude, what is up with this room? I have never been stopped in my tracks by a sound. What was that? That was right there. Camera's making weird noises. That was right there, dude. Like tr something dragging across the floor. Andrew, do you hear that? Thumping? I don't know, I'm hearing a lot, the camera's making crazy noises. I think we need to get the spooky box and go on. Uh, this, is, this is like aggressively scarier than other people. That dragging sound was the most, one of the most immediate things I've heard in a location. Last time I felt like that was with that Sarah Winchester bell sound in the Winchester house that was just like, that happened. Hold. No, hold. No, hey. Is that, someone, is that someone in here? People talking or something like that? Yeah. Like three people talking Wait, over there? What is this? Wait, did you hear that? Yes. Is there an investigation? I think this is the investigation. Wait, how long, how long was left? Okay. Just making sure. Seriously, before it gets worse, I feel like I need to get the materials together at the spooky box and kind of like spooky make box. our way down because, yikes, I'm good. Let's get down to the mercantile. I also can't feel my hands. Uh, yeah, it is like five degrees in here and I have <laughs> gloves and my hands are cold. This is so the investigation. Right now. Oh, I told so you I it wasn't to the 20 minute part.
that or tacos or pizza. Oh! Ooh, oh. orange chicken pizza tacos. Stop! <laughs> I've been craving queso lately. We have queso this The last lunch. three days I've been thinking about eating the queso. We can go have queso queso and chips after this. Yeah, we also have sun chips. Maybe sun chips and queso taste good. That's what I've been thinking for about okay. for three days while doing okay. a puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Riker lost Dude, my taco. Yes. Uh, I did, I did. I'm so I'm mad about that. And I, and I know what this is going to sound like. It sounded like it was saying my name. I swear. My feet are frozen. I feet are frozen too. <laughs> 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 we looked down and I got the DVD of Frozen one. I looked at your face and it's frozen too. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> that's how you're gonna end this. Um, okay, sorry. This is probably very unusual for me to be doing this in a haunted video, especially at this point in the video. Um, but the, the voice that I just heard in this footage and that you are about to hear uh, brought me to instant tears. I get scared when I edit, never full tears. Uh, you know, hearing things like this in footage makes me question what I do for a job. <laughs> oh my god. All right, sorry. I'll let you hear it now. Just need to. Jesus. The drama. <laughs> oh, watch stop. I get the same, the it's same, the same I thought it was the woman from before. I thought I just heard. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. Played it. Pause it. You have to click Bro, on it. You running around. <laughs> okay. One or two? Two. There's a man. Because mm. the two voices that I've heard like actual EVPs for is the mm -hmm. woman that you're talking about and the man that was the one that said step on it or whatever. Mm, okay. Because I feel like he's got a little bit more juice than she does. That makes sense. So that's yeah. why he was I thought it louder. was a woman. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. No, when no. I hear that, I just see the man that's like, he's got like scruffy face. He looks like he's more modern and he has like crazy brown hair mm -hmm. and like a green flannel thing on. Gotcha. It's the tall, looming man. Yeah, because that's, that's who I think it is, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the okay, other one that was, that said Andrew, like there's, mm -hmm. cause I don't feel like yeah. every time it said Andrew it was anything, but I feel like that time, the time, other time that we talked about it, that was the woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that was the woman. And this, like, step on it. Those were the only three ones where I feel like those might have actually been, someone. yeah, actually came from something. Mm-hmm. The other ones, I'm not so sure. Is not, he like, the owner? I don't think so. No, he feels too m newer. Yeah, he feels very sort of modern. He's got like clothes that are similar to like modern day clothing. And he doesn't have the like authority vibe to him saying that he would own this place. I feel mm -hmm. like he. I agree with that. I don't know. I feel like he might have been in the building for a period of time or something like maybe he like didn't have anywhere to go he doesn't look like he has a lot of money so that's the man that i'm seeing is he one of them is he who made you suspect squatters yeah that's why i asked if the building was abandoned because mm -hmm. i didn't know if it was like someone from now times because like obviously this place isn't in business yeah, I don't so. know if they mentioned that it's been... I don't know if they said at some point in the video that it's been, like, abandoned for 100 years. I don't oh. know, like, what the history Coffee. behind all of that is. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like someone might have, like, spent a lot of their time here, but they were, like, homeless. I mm -hmm. feel like this man may be homeless, but he it makes me feel like he didn't, like, necessarily pass in the building. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was left as is when it closed its doors. Yeah, he is very much, like, modern. <laughs> Just by the look of his clothing, he looks very disheveled. So, yeah. I found over there. I don't know. Really? 
Jesus, I thought that that was the thing. <laughs> I've got really good at impersonating him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I can see him in there. Oh, I'm going to leave a dum dum for the kid. Ooh. That's crazy. Oh, I'm going to leave a dum dum for the kid. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to leave a dum dum for the kid. Ooh. You said kid and you held up a dum dum sucker. Kid, you want a piece of candy? What's your Discord going off? I kept hearing the Discord on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> My computer's on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is that? I'll leave it right there for you, kid. Well, hold on a second. What? I kind of feel like, based on the activity, based on what Austin said, based on the room that we saw, I think the kid's in that room with the pool. You should go back there and bring that to him. That'll be the last thing I do, though, okay? okay. I'll bring it to him in there. Here I come, kid. The police. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, are you okay? Did someone just go bite you? Dude, I want a Tootsie Pop now, too. Do you want the Rice Krispie Treats? Dude, it's fucking the same. Here, kid, this is for you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh! That was very thoughtful of me. Dude, it is time for second dinner. I can't. It is time oh, for second dinner. Good. I agree with that. Ugh. Hey, don't leave me out here. You're running away from me. <laughs> that spooky box is so heavy. Yeah, it's heavy and expensive and broken. Me. <laughs> I like how he okay. carries it Goodbye, in a bag. Mm -hmm. Will I be able to watch the whole thing later? Yes. I don't know how I'm going to get this done. This will go out on replay. Out. Yeah. Really heavy. This is, I really, I need your help. And that was that. I never thought that stepping out into negative 11 degrees would feel mm. this good, but I was done in there. And there you have it. You know, it's probably for the better that my needlessly complex haunted rating system <laughs> didn't really work out. Cause I don't need a sheet to tell me that yes, Austin, your hotel is extremely haunted. And honestly, until I got in the headphones and started hearing everything that happened in that footage, even I didn't realize just how haunted it was. So I will say, oh, you know what? I was gonna say good luck, like you're on your own, but you're not, because I left a sucker for the kid. So I'm sure that took care of it. Or maybe Austin, your hotel is just always gonna be haunted. Even when you beautifully restore it, they're maybe just gonna love it and it'll be a friendly haunting. Although something did push my spooky box over, which seemed pretty aggressive, so ah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that particular ghost. I got the impression that there was a man in there, a couple people, because there was like a lot of weird voices, but definitely a man and like two kids. If anybody is more clairvoyant than myself, wow. please let me know in the comments. Sound off. If you got any impressions, want to tell me anything, I love it. I'll talk about this stuff all day and night, baby. I will say that uh, the next day after the shoot, I actually went back to the mercantile to say goodbye to Val and Austin and to <laughs> pay for my stolen goods from the mercantile. And Val wasn't there actually, but I did get to speak to someone else who works in the building. And without telling her a thing about how much my experience went, this is exactly what she said. This morning it sounded like somebody was up there running and I thought it was you. Oh. And you're not up there and the door is locked. I think it's a little boy or a little girl. It's a small person. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe eight or nine because he thinks he's funny. <laughs> I think that he's a happy spirit. He just thinks he's funny and he's maybe bored. So do you think it's like very, very scary? Yeah, y'all should uh, no, go tag Garrett and tell him to watch this, you know? Corner. Yeah. He's angry and he's very tall. Oh, God. <sighs> Definitely a kid in there, which is kind of sweet to think about. Thank you so much to Val and to Austin. Uh, if y'all are ever in the uh, Northwest Washington area, future do stop videos. by Bulletproof U. Yeah, if and you guys have Mercantile suggestions, let us know. Ice. <laughs> also, speaking of getting things, literally stop staring at my sweat and my sweatshirt. You're so desperate. Stop staring. If you're so desperate to get your own Benjamin crew neck and maybe so many other things, I suppose you could sign up for alerts at thingsbygarrett.com if you wanted to, or you could just follow me on all my socials. I'm at Garrett Watts on literally anything that you can think about. I'm always posting little funny thoughts or saying, oh, a new merch drop. <laughs> Sometimes I'd say that. Oh, and if anyone wants to tell me in the comments, I'm really curious to know. Uh, there's a lot of people that we talked to in this video who work at a haunted place. I've worked at a lot of places that have creeped me out. I actually um, just put a video on my side channel called Garrett Unhinged <laughs> um, okay, about uh, how I got fired. Yeah. I, think, I think we're done with the video, yeah. but um, I don't know. Is this true? Yes. Okay. Someone says, do you see anyone soul with Garrett, a spirit guide? He's an interesting character. I don't know. I read that and I see this orange spirit guide that's like tinkery. He 
It looks like 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 a science experiment or like an invention. That's what he tells me he's like. He's masculine presenting orange for me because colors have meanings to me. Uh, deal with outward expression. I feel like Garrett, I know nothing about this man. I feel like Garrett is very like, he can take a lot of different things and put them together in a very like creative specific way, um, which it makes him more unique or individual individualistic. That's what like gives him his charm. I don't know if that makes sense. I literally, have, this is the only bit I've ever watched him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they make me feel like the way he thinks, he's very good at putting a whole bunch of stuff together and making it into something really, really good. I, yeah, from my limited knowledge and understanding of him, I feel like that would track. It's him. like he could take a puzzle and he could put the puzzle together in a different way than the puzzle's supposed to go together and it would look cooler than what the puzzle was supposed to be. Yeah. Other That's people say it checks out. So he does. That so. is one of his spirit guides. <laughs> yeah. But you guys have any other questions or things before we head out? So yeah. we can go get second dinner. Second dinner. So are we going to have queso? Yeah. We also were going to have a... Uh, Nitro Pepsi oh, oh, yeah. float. Yeah, we already had a Nitro Pepsi. I think we should eat chips today and then have a Nitro Pepsi tomorrow. Gotcha. So okay. are we doing a live stream tomorrow? I think so. Yeah, if you guys want to do a live stream. We're going to potentially draw past lives? Yeah, we're going to try and do an art stream tomorrow about 7 p.m. EST. We're going to draw people's past lives if you guys are interested. What's a Nitro Pepsi? Um, a nitro Pepsi is a Pepsi that is, uh, like, charged with nitrogen. Uh, so a lot of times, like, beers and stuff are, like, nitro, are on, like, nitro tap, and it makes them, like, creamy or whatever. They have them at the grocery store. It's very good. Um, it literally changes the texture of Yeah, the so liquid. it's, it's not carbonated the exact same, because it's, like, it doesn't use carbon, it uses nitrogen instead, but it's a lot, like, creamier and smooth. It's very good. I highly recommend them. Yeah, but we think, we're thinking we want to do, like, floats, like, root beer floats in yeah. Pepsi, Nitro, Nitro Pepsi. Yeah. So, yeah. But if you guys are interested in hanging out with us tomorrow, we are most likely going to be going live at 7 p.m. EST. If you want updates on that, make sure to either subscribe, hit that notification bell on here, and it will notify you when we go live. Or you can follow us on Instagram, and we will tell Yo. you when we plan to do things, if we plan to not do things, that sort of thing. So follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Why do you need such big PC fans? Well, those are my computer. Yeah, it's yours. They They're can't, purple. They can't see mine, because mine... Yeah, I was like, how are you seeing here. it? <laughs> Mine's over here. <laughs> Mostly because I like the case, my guy. But I built that. When I say I built that... I had someone else build it while I watched it. But anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.